gentlemen, part two of the Russell Cage Experience Q&A video. Um, the next question comes from Adam on Facebook. Um, his question uh, involves uh, contract signings and uh, contract uh, declinings, I guess, so to say. Um, he, he wants to know uh, my thoughts on Eugene being resigned, uh, Rob Conway uh, turning down the WWE uh, contract, as well as Bobby Lashley signing with TNA. Um, Eugene uh, will no doubt uh, probably be uh, one of the comedy sticks that we have, uh, even when he was, was around before. Um, he'll, he'll more than likely be used to put over uh, heels and faces in, in the company, because um, usually that's the best way to do it, pick on the, the you know, the, the that character, you know, um, it was what it was. Um, he's, he's being, him, he got the same, uh, offer as Rob Conway did to basically come and help, um, the younger guys out. Uh, Rob Conway turned it down. Um, he's happy with, well, I guess, working the independent scene as well as, um, uh, with the other job that he has on the side. Um, so, Eugene, um, I, I was, I was never really big on the Eugene character, same way with Rob Conway, uh, but Eugene uh, will probably no doubt be used is, is in comedy spoofs and kind of like Warren Swoggle. I wouldn't doubt seeing Eugene Festus and Warren Swoggle all paired together. Uh, no doubt that would probably be a, a, a faction the way Vince and them thinks. Um, I'm, I'm not really necessarily mad about it, but I'm not necessarily happy about it either. I, it, I'm just kind of like, it's one of them uh, situations where it's like, eh, whatever, you know, it, it, it whatever happens, happens, so, um, yeah, not, nothing really big from there. Uh, as far as Bobby Lashley signing with TNA, I'm glad to see that he finally did sign with TNA, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how uh, TNA uses him uh, on the television and, and what they... <coughs> Excuse me. What they do with him? Um, no doubt, Bobby Lashley could have some great matches with the Kurt Angle. He could have some great matches with Samoa Joe. Um, whether they'll put the title on him, more than likely they'll eventually put the title on him. Uh, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Uh, so that's my thoughts on all those signings. Um, you know, like I said, Eugene and Rob Conway. I could care less about them. You know. As, as far as Bobby Lashley, I expect you know him to help out TNA a great deal, uh, especially with his MMA fan base that he has. Uh, that might carry over into TNA and bring over more fans. So uh, it might be a, a I, I think it's a good step for TNA. Uh, so thank you, Adam, for that question. Uh, Kingpin88 uh, asked me which Hardy do I like more, um, and if I had to choose which Hardy I liked more, I'd probably have to go with Jeff. Uh, mainly because of the high flying and risk taking uh, factor that he has about him, uh, Jeff Hardy, uh, you know, he goes out there and he lays it all on the line. Um, you can you can usually expect to have a, a decent match out of him. Um, not saying that Matt doesn't do that. Um, his his matches with MVP were were pretty good. Um, that feud was pretty good. But uh, overall, I think I'm I'm more of a Jeff Hardy fan. Uh, than anything, uh, so uh, kind of looking forward to his match with CM Punk, seeing what happens from that. Um, whether Jeff will win the title or not, I'd say they're probably they're probably going to keep it on CM Punk and have him feud with John Morrison uh, later on down the road. So uh, as far as which Hardy I like more, uh, it's it's going to be Jeff uh, in this case. Uh, with that question so kingpin88 thank you for that question um and why to amber the last question uh she wants to know what my current favorite finishing move is um and if i had to do it this way um from wwe uh, i would probably have to go with either uh, starship pain uh the code breaker uh or um uh Oh, I can't remember it now. Uh, oh, Evan Bourne. How, uh, Evan Bourne shooting Star Press because those are all great, um, great moves, great finishing moves right there. Uh, and uh, close runner-up would be uh, Dolph Ziggler's um, 
I, I, he, I don't think he even has a name for it yet. Um, but and and of course, uh, Miz has got a new one, and um, if I'm not mistaken, somebody else had a new one that they they're doing. Uh, oh, oh, Sheamus, uh, his his uh, kind of looks like a rock bottom into a backbreaker type deal. That those are some some of my top favorite moves in WWE. Uh, as far as TNA goes, uh, I'm I'm a big fan of the best moonsault ever, uh, and I'm a fan of the tag team venture. Uh, uh, driving while investing uh, from uh, Robert Roode and James Storm. Those are two favorites of mine right there. Um, and especially since it's it's tag team wrestling, you know, hey, uh, I, I have a love for it. So uh, thank you all for sending in your questions. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos. Um, just send more in. Uh, I, I will look forward to doing another teenage or a... Uh, another Q&A video here soon uh, so send them in to my either Twitter account or Facebook account MySpace account uh, or YouTube account just shoot me a message um, and and with that being said thank you all for watching uh, greatly appreciate it I'm going to have a Smackdown review here uh, shortly uh, yes it is daylight out I've, I've actually already watched Smackdown um, I've already watched Smackdown and uh, I will do a review but I'll wait to post it after SmackDown goes off the air. So, uh, with that being said, this has been my Q&A video, guys. Thanks for watching, and thank you all for the questions. And for everybody that subscribed, thank you. Uh, keep sending subscribers in. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and, and hit the subscribe button. Uh, and, uh, guys, take it easy, and peace out.